From our point of view, from, as a council, um, obviously we have a vested interest in ensuring our residents are accessing opportunities that come up. Um, and young people quite often are at the hard end of a lot of the cuts that are going on at the moment. Um, and we really struggle to engage with young people generally. So, and your question was how do we sell this information through to schools and young people? I think it's about being clear what it is, what, it, what this is telling us, what the job opportunities are and what those vocational pathways are that those young people can go on. Um, no one's really interested in training for the sake of it. Um, people want jobs and a career. And parents are often the deciding factor. Um, and if you try and talk to any parent, encourage them to little um, their son or daughter wants to become a dry liner, you'll get a really short thrift because they don't really know what it is. Um, we've done that, we've run courses and, and people haven't turned up because they don't know what it is. So for me, skills plan is about getting hold of data. We as a council generate loads of data, capital program data, we're a planning authority, we've got section 106 agreements, labour market information, we've got loads of it. It's making sense of that data, turning it into a decent narrative that we can turn around and have an informed conversation with young people, with our training providers around the borough, and actually make really straightforward pathways for people to progress into the jobs that exist.